Hey there, I was experimenting with sheet metal folding in on shape, um, not for the obvious reasons, but because I wanted to create a uh, laser cut folding um, press fit box. And um, so if you haven't messed with sheet metal on shape, I highly recommend it, it's a lot of fun. A couple things that are not intuitive um, before I show you something that I discovered, I think. Um, extrude a box, tell it it's gonna be sheet metal, and then you'll, you can go in and tell it which joints are overlapping and whatnot. So go through here and do all, modify the joints and you'll see all those things can now overlap the way you want them to. You can control the radiuses and the thickness of your material. And then you wanna create a couple of uh, tabs for press fit. And the trick is um, sketch onto a face like this where you want a tab, <clears throat> tell it that it's a tab, and then the key is to tell it, you know, which uh, face it belongs to, which one to remove from, how much offset you want, et cetera, et cetera. Um, it's a little frustrating the first time you do it. If you've never been through that, um, it doesn't behave the way you want it to necessarily. Um, if you haven't uh, tried it before and don't use extrusion and those types of things except to create holes because it won't work for tabs. Um, you have to use the tab feature to create tabs uh, in sheet metal. But what it does do is give you this nice uh, sort of exploded view, a flat pack version, if you will, of your part. Um, but in nowhere in Onshape is there the ability to uh, export the flat pack. You can create a drawing, uh, an SVG or DXF, um, not SVG, PDF or DXF, not in a usable format to go to your laser cutter. Um, and I wanted to go to a laser cutter. Now um, I was like, well, let me try Kirimoto. As it turns out, uh, luckily, um, through the API, it just so happens that Onshape does expose the flat patterns as parts, and you can bring that directly into Kirimoto, ta-da, and then laser cut. And then you can, through Kirimoto, download your SVG, DXF or G code, go straight to your laser cutter to uh, laser cut a flat pack piece. This is super cool and totally unexpected, um, and now I'm doing it all the time. So sheet metal plus uh, Kirimoto plus laser cutter gives you a totally unexpected and awesome feature. Um, let me know how you guys use this, if you do use this, um, and anything that uh, doesn't work as expected or new things you discover, please let me know. Super excited to, to share this, so let me know what you think. Have a good one.